Hey guys, Denis Kozher here. In this video I want to show you how to model and unwrap bottle grinder set by Norm Architects. First of all I create box with grinder sizes. Next I create plane with reference image proportions and assign it to the plane using drag and drop method. After I scale the plane so it matches with the box. Using line tool I create outline of grinder and apply lathe modifier on it. Next change gizmo position so it matches with the reference. After it's done, I apply Edit Poly and TurboSmooth modifiers. To close hole on the bottom, I use Cap and then with the Cut tool add some segments so it's smooth correctly. For more accuracy use Snap tool. You can rise up turbo smooth iterations for more smooth result. I use connect tool to create edges in the middle and chamfer on it. Next I delete polygons and using shift plus scale extrude new ones. Upper part need to be smaller radius than the bottom part, so I scale it more. After just shift and drag it down, first time for a little distance to create hard edge after smooth. On the bottom part of the grinder I add another connect and rise it up to make hard edge. After I repeat process with the top part. Using vertex I adjust the position of bottom part so it nicely align to the top. I add more edges using connect tool to adjust shape of the model with the reference image. On the top I again use Shift plus Scale to extrude polygons.
When the model is ready, I convert it to editable poly and change pivot point to the bottom of the bottle. After that, I create bunk using cylinder, convert it to editable poly and delete bottom part.
When it's done, you can get fast result using quick pelt tool. And it will be enough for Substance Painter. But you can spend more time and make more accurate unwrap using pelt and relax tool.
When every part of the model unwrapped, I select them all and use Pack UV on the tool tab. Next, I repeat this process on the bunk. Now unwrapping part finished and I need to prepare a model for correct work in Substance Painter. For this I rename objects, add suffix main and assign standard materials. Keep in mind that name of material will be used as the name of texture set in Substance. Finally, export model as FBX and make another copy with ID suffix. And change material colors. Later they can be used as a mask. That's all for this tutorial. Hope you like it and find useful. In the next series I show how create material in Substance Painter and render it with Corona Render. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments. Also, you can write what you think about this tutorial or anything you like. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.